So when you are attached to him, you are connected. So the love is flowing from him to you, to people. So, so you, you are not the source. But when you don't have that connection with God, and you just want to go and begin to love people, you know, you, you'll be dry, son, and you'll be feeling tired and exhausted, and you feel that you, your energy is not enough. You, you can't just, it's almost impossible to love people, really, without, without loving God. So it has to start with loving God. When you love God, you derive the energy and the power from Him. You love Him uh, uh, because, um, you know, he, he first loved you. And that's one way to love God. You know, it's easier to love God when you discover how He loved you. You know, just imagine that He loved you so much that He came to the world to die for you. Imagine God's dying for you, you know, on the cross, being crucified, being stripped naked, being nailed to the cross. And when you imagine how much love He has for you, and you actually see and visualize that, seeing that love and understanding that love is what makes you to love Him back. So it is the, the love that you have for God is not coming from you. It's actually coming from Him. It's because He loves you first that we can now thank Him. So your love for Him is a form of thanksgiving. It's a form of you saying you are thanking Him for what He has done for you, for dying for you, for giving His life. The most valuable thing anybody has is His own life and for demonstrating His love to you by dying for you so you now understand why you too can love him could love him and you begin to you know respond and reciprocate to his love so the love actually comes from him and it is that love that awakens our gratitude awakens our appreciation and he, he compels us with his love it is his love that compels us to be able to respond back to him by loving him as well